All right, thanks, Alexis. Time to light up South Florida the rest of the month. Local 10 is going to be showing that creative holiday display you're putting up on air and online. Look at this beautifully lit up home in Sunrise. We've had a lot of them in Sunrise. Yeah. This is Marlin and Moraima Maiden's home with the festive reindeer on the roof and the winter wonderland on the front lawn. Really good work here. Hey, we want to see what you're doing in your home. Submit photos and videos of your bright holiday displays. Head over to Local10.com, click on the Light Up South Florida link, and highlight these all the way through December 30th. And an annual tradition is back once again. Very good cause behind fans throwing teddy bears onto the ice during a hockey game. Details next. But first, President Biden's student loan forgiveness program going to the highest court. What the justices will now determine. In this morning's GMA First Look, White Lotus Wanderlust. God, are you kidding me? Look at that pool. You guys are going to have such an amazing trip. Fans of the hit show seemingly taken with its setting, Sicily, and its searing beauty. Mobile travel app Hopper telling ABC News that searches for vacations there are up 50% this season. I mean, I'm impressed that you're even here and you're quite old, no? If you are flexible and you are thinking about that Sicily trip, try going early May or next fall. You're going to get the best deals, lowest prices, and you know really be able to stretch your Italy trip budget a bit further. And this isn't the only show inspiring travelers. Coming up at 7 a.m., we'll show you some of the locations here in America seeing an uptick thanks to vacationing viewers. With your GMA First Look, I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News. Never miss a beat with Local 10 Plus. And it's right here in our own backyard. A one-stop shop for all your news. North Rock Island Road has since reopened. From traffic updates and weather alerts to cooking, home projects, health, and politics. From the 26th Congressional District. We've got you covered anytime, anywhere. Local 10 is right there with you on the scene of breaking news, in the stands at sporting events, and exploring SoFlo's hidden gems. Stream at home or on the go, 24 hours a day, only on Local 10 Plus.
It is time for our Secret Santa giveaway. We still have nearly a dozen prizes to give away to our lucky viewers. Now let's look at the feature prize we pulled yesterday. Here it is, three-day, two-night stay for two people at B Resort and Spa at Disney Springs Resort. You'll stay in a pool view room. Also comes with breakfast for two from American Kitchen Bar and Grill. And here is today's winner. Ready? It is Diana Rodriguez. Congratulations. If this is you, we'll reach out to you so we can get that prize straight to you. All right, let's pick the next one. Let's Ready go. to let's go. go. Let's pick, pick, pick. In here. Yeah, we got a lot of let's good ones. Deep. Oh, two tickets. Four tickets to Chicago. Oh. 25 years of Razzle Dazzle, the Broward Center of the Performing Arts. You and three friends, loved ones, going to see Chicago. What a show. This is a great prize. I'm jealous. That's going to be a good one. To enter to win, download our Local 10 News app. Scan the QR code on your screen right now. That'll take you directly to the app. Once you download it, go to the drop-down menu. It's on the top left corner of your screen. Click on Secret Santa Giveaway to register. Every day, we choose a random winner, announce their names right here during our 6 a.m. newscast. The contest lasts through December 28th, so get in the game and good luck. The Supreme Court will hear another attempt to bring back President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. The latest effort involves two student loan borrowers. They say the administration failed to follow the correct procedure in announcing that plan. The court will determine if the lawsuit is merit and then will decide if the plan was lawful. The lower courts have twice blocked the president's plan. The Supreme Court will have the final say on whether it ever goes into effect. Twitter is once again attempting to launch its premium, premium service. I guess you could say premier service too. A month after the previous attempt failed, the company is now allowing users to buy subscriptions to Twitter Blue to get a check mark and to access special features. It does cost $8 per month for web users and $11 per month for iPhone users. Twitter also holding a yard sale of sorts. It is auctioning off dozens of items from its headquarters in San Francisco. The memorabilia ranges from a large statue of the Twitter bird to a giant planter in the shape of an at symbol, an espresso machine, computers, bikes. Twitter has seen a number of layoffs and restructuring since Elon Musk took over as CEO. Opening bids start at 25 bucks. The 24 hour auction goes live January 17th. A city court system in Montana coming up with a creative way to be charitable, charitable this holiday season. It is allowing people to pay off fines with food donations. 30 cans of food will take a $150 off a person's court charge. The donated items then go to the local emergency food bank. People say the response has been positive and that some people donate double or triple the amount that is required. The response has been good. Uh, you know, I think that people enjoy, um, you know, feeling like they're contributing, particularly to the food bank at this time of the year. The program made possible thanks to a state law that allows misdemeanor fines to be subbed out for donations. Last year, more than 2,000 pounds of food was collected in this program. The U.S. Postal Service is unveiling a new stamp to commemorate the Lunar New Year. USPS is introducing the Year of the Rabbit forever stamp. You see right there? That's great. It's kind of cute. As you can see, the design looks like the elaborately decorated masks used in the dragon or lion dances often performed in Lunar New Year parades. The stamp will be unveiled in San Francisco early January. An Iowa hockey team quickly brings in Christmas presents for needy children in the area. Saturday, the Sioux City Musketeers hosted their annual teddy bear toss. That's when fans bring in the cuddly toys, toys to the arena, throw them onto the ice after the home team scores a goal. Hundreds of teddy bears were thrown onto the ice. All of them will be collected for a local branch for Toys for Tots. Oh, love that. All right, that is it for your 6 o'clock news on here, Local 10, this Tuesday morning. We're still going, though. Local mm -hmm. 10 News at 6.30 starts right now. Right now at 6.30. Man stops breathing minutes after being taken into police custody in southwest Miami-Dade. What happened inside an auto parts store that led up to his death? A Fort Lauderdale police officer suspended for shoving a protester found not guilty in court. I'm Syra Onwar with the details. There has been a spike in migrant crossings at the southern border days before Title 42 is set to expire. We hear from authorities in the affected states. And how our own animal advocate is helping me find a beloved home for the one sweet tortoise that wandered into our backyard. It's 630. The news starts now. That blows my mind. Hi, South Florida. I'm Eric Yeltsin. I'm JC Birch. You've had that big old guy for a year now. Yes. So I finally stepped in, Julie. One day I was here and I said, we've got to do an animal advocate story on Tootie because Tootie needs a forever home. I, I learned I'm a foster failure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've learned in this process, Julie. True, it's true. I, I, I 
don't know. I think Tootie is very comfortable <laughs> with the kiddos. Julie is all on team stay she at the Yeti household. She has always wanted Tootie Fruity to stay there. Yes. I have. I told you guys, especially Eric. I was like, no, no, no. Every time he had mentioned, I think Tootie is going to go to the next forever home. I'm like, no, nope. Tootie's comfortable. Tootie's is a Yeti. Tootie Yeti. That's a lot. There you go. You've adopted. All right, South Florida, you know, we're adopting a nice forecast this morning. We are seeing a beautiful shot from our Hollywood Beach Camp. First light over the horizon. Gosh, that looks spectacular. Look at all the colors. What a way to start your Tuesday. Temperatures are nice as well. Maybe a light sweater jacket needed inland where we have our low 60s. We even have the upper 50s for you and Kendall. Our winds are very calm. Our dew points are almost at or near our air temperature in some areas. So the air is saturated, so we could see some patchy fog out there, but nothing like what we saw yesterday. Yesterday it was very dense and thick. So visibility around six to seven miles in some areas. As for our forecast, we are going to see highs today in the lower 80s. I'm gonna have a lot more on this coming up. And now, here's your Local 10 traffic update. South Florida, unfortunately, we are dealing with some heavy delays in Miami-Dade because of this crash right here on the turnpike. Look at all those red lights. You will be basically stuck in traffic, unfortunately, as you're traveling on those northbound lanes. This is right after Eureka Drive. So if you're traveling in this area, there is some stop and go traffic right up on 216th Street. If you're traveling that way, speeds coming in as slow as seven miles per hour. We saw traffic moving very slow. Just some pack some patience if this typically is a part of your morning commute. We also have this crash that just popped up in Miami Dade. It's on those southbound lanes of 95 right before 79th Street. There is currently a left lane blocked in this area and your speeds coming in as slow as 12 miles per hour. Unfortunately, Broward, of course, I will never leave you out, but unfortunately you have this crash, though I have to tell you about on those northbound lanes of 95 right at Copens. So this is in Pompano Beach. Eric. OK, Alexis, thank you. Right now, officer acquitted. It all comes after a Fort Lauderdale officer was seen on video shoving a woman. It happened at a Black Lives Matter protest two years ago. And Syra Onwar is live in Fort Lauderdale with what happened in that courtroom. So JC and Eric, after an hour long deliberation, those six jurors were not able to reach a unanimous verdict. They told the judge that the judge said, go back, take a little more time. They did that and came back with a verdict of not guilty. The defendant is not guilty. A jury finding suspended Fort Lauderdale officer Stephen Poherence not guilty of misdemeanor battery. Poherence appearing relieved, kissing his wife after the verdict. Charge over this 2020 incident. He's seen shoving a woman on her knees at a Black Lives Matter protest. The day began with closing arguments. Prosecutors say Poherence's actions were excessive and the victim showed no imminent threat. She is on her knees hands in the air. There was no imminent use of unlawful force against Officer Horowitz. This is not a self-defense case. It just simply is not. The defense arguing Poherence was attempting to maneuver through the crowd to get himself to safety and help a fellow officer in her vehicle surrounded by protesters. There's no proof of any, there's been no evidence of any injury. There's been no evidence of any actual touch. The defense successful in making their case to the jury. Poherence's attorney says the next steps are to get Poherence reinstated on the police force and then to get him repaid for the time he was suspended. That is very latest live here in Fort Lauderdale. Syra Onwar, Local 10 News.